THE RAVEN by Edgar Allan Poe Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor," I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I sought to borrow from my book circus of sorrow sorrow for the lost Lenore for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore nameless here forevermore <clears throat> then the silk sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entering entrance at my chamber door, Some late visitor entering entrance at my chamber door, This is it, and nothing more. My soul grew stronger, hesitating no longer. "'Sir,' said I, or oh, madam, Truly, your forgiveness I implore, but the fact is I was napping, and you came so gently, you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I was scarce was sure I heard you. Here I open the door, darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, <coughs> doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal dare to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and stillness gave no token, and only word there was spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and echo murmured back the word, Merely this and nothing more. <laughs> Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon I began to hear a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something out my window lattice. Let me see what threat is. And this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter when with many a flirt and flutter in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obsness and made he not a minute stopped or stayed. He but with the mind of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon the bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat and nothing more. This, then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave stern decorum and countenance it wore, Though thy chest be so shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art, art sure no craven, ghastly, grim, and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore, tell me thy lordly name on this night's Plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled in this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly. 
Though its answers little meaning, little relevancy bore, for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculpture bust above his chamber door, with such a name as Nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the palace to bust Spoke only that one word as if his soul In that one word he did outpour Nothing further than he muttered Not a feather than he fluttered Till I scarcely more than muttered Other friends have flown before on the morrow He will leave me as my hopes have flown before then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so abruptly spoken. Doubtless, said I, what it utters is only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master who merciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one burden bore. Till the dregs of his hope, that melancholy bored and love of never, never more. But the raven, still beguiling all my fancy into smiling, straight I willed a cushioned seat in front of the bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking. <laughs> Fancy unto fancy, thinking that is ominous a bird of yore. What this grim, ungangly, ghastly, gaunt, and anonymous bird of yore meant in croaking, Nevermore. This I sat in raging and guessing, but no syllable expressing. To this foul, fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining. On the cushion velvet lining, that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight glowing over, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfume from an unseen censer, swung by a sepharum, whose footfalls tinkled on the traffled floor. Wretch, I cried, they God hath let me, by these angels he hath sent me. Respite, respite, and now thy from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, O oh, quaff, this kind nepenthe. And forget this lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. <laughs> prophet, said I, Thing of evil, prophet still, If bird or devil, Whether tempter sent, Or whether tempest tossed, Thee here ashore, Desolate, All undaunted, On this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there, bounce in Galahad? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by the heavens that bends above us, by the God we both adore, Tell this soul with sorrow laden within the distant Aden. It shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name the more the nor. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name the nor the nor. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. Be that word. Our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked upstanding. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token 
of thy of lie thy soul hath spoken <laughs> leave my loneliness unbroken quit the bust above my door take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door quoth the raven nevermore and the raven never flittering is still sitting still is sitting on the pallid bust of pallas just above my chamber door and his eyes have all the seeing of a demon that is dreaming and the lamplight her o'er him streaming down throws his shadows on the floor and my soul from that shadow lies floating on the floor shall be lifted lava 